Hello everyone, consultant here and I am back for the day 3 of the driving training, the driving lessons and the first driving lesson for today is a try trail braking part 1 and today is going to be the last of the driving lessons series because the tarmac based driving lessons are now complete and the rest, the, the rest of them are based on the dirt racing and all that stuff which is totally not for me so I'm not gonna do that so getting back to our main lesson for today um, this actually mostly focuses on braking while turning a corner it's a little tricky because if you turn while braking the most common mistake I made was accelerate at the same time as braking which caused the car to spin and lose grip and um, it caused a massive oversteer at times I was able to complete the first of this driving lesson and even the next driving lesson focuses on uh, on the same thing trail braking and this exercise in particular this was really hard one and this is one of the hardest uh, lessons for today and it did take me uh, a lot of tries and a lot of attempts and in this one the most uh, once again, uh, the, 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 the main mistake that I was making in this driving lesson was uh, accelerating and applying brake at the same time and that actually caused the car to spin getting off the track and not getting a very good lap time. But then again, um, our goal is to achieve gold in every of the driving lessons that we attempt. So after a few failed attempts, I got to where I needed and one trick I learned from it is that after you have s slowed the car down uh, enough for the for for the corner we can still uh, gradually apply brake and keep turning at the same time and the main thing to focus from there or the main thing that we really need to take care of here is to how exactly or when exactly as a matter of fact to start accelerating and then again we have to start accelerating gradually otherwise it won't work and it will it might cause understeer or oversteer so this is the third part of trail braking um, probably the last one uh, it was the same uh, lesson learned from this as well um, but this time it was the track was a bit harder because the moment you get off the track it's all sand and getting back to the track was hard and it affected the speed a lot which resulted in a very very bad lap time so for this one the the main um, trick of nailing this lesson was to keep on track as much as possible because getting on the sand it's it's not a good thing um, in in the car you know, and, the, and the tires lose traction and that's that does not look good um, so I was able to complete this in a couple of tries and that went well okay and after this the next uh, training lesson is the combined corner so in this one um, once you exit a corner the main mindset is to start accelerating again but then again if 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 the corner starts in the middle of another corner or if i elaborate it more like the apex point you can say is is you can say in the middle of the next corner that is what we have to master here because at apex point we start accelerating gradually again when exiting the corner but then if the apex point is in the middle or you can say is at the beginning of the next corner then you really have to wait for the apex or not actually not actually wait for the apex the apex is there but you cannot apply full acceleration you cannot pull it all the way down so um, accelerate very gradually very slowly as a matter of fact uh, increase acceleration very slowly get in the next corner and the trick of it was to plan the apex ahead or you can say uh, plan the plan the last apex ahead so think of it the other way around like think of the exit first and back reverse engineer it 
or no, the, the beginning of the first corner. That was the trick to it. And that actually helped me, helped me a lot in mastering this corner. Okay. Uh, the next thing which I've been waiting for for some time that I was actually looking out for it that when exactly the downhill will come in. So it came just in. Uh, the up mastering uphill and downhill surfaces. So I believe I skipped the downhill recording. So let's just get with the uphill for now. Uh, for downhill and uphill, actually, the main thing which held me back was uh, was, was was the fright. Um, so I was actually a bit scared of it. While cornering, I applied the brake way harder than it was required because. Um, when going downhill, the acceleration, the, the braking part is really hard and at uphill, the braking part was actually quite easier. So, easier. So, uh, downhill was a bit harder than me, than the uphill. So, there it was. Okay. Uh, for uphill, the deceleration or the braking was quite easy. So, uh, this was a pretty simple and easy driving lesson. And I was able to do it in no more than I believe three or four tries. Okay, and the next one is the pit practice. Okay, um, this is this is more of kind of you can say uh, a little boring exercise because um, you really have to against AI against professional AI. I have to say that it's it's not really that challenging. Um, I took more time in the pit than usual than or not exact not actually usual I took more time in the pit than I had to but even then I was able to complete uh, the race in the first place and but so this is one of the you can say the boring exercise for today um, just just replace the tires refuel a bit and go for the last lap this is just a one lap race and here you can see I took more time than required in it and I'm just going to fast forward it to the place where the race is near to end because uh, it's just a boring race um, against professional AI. Um, gaining position was not that hard. Uh, the track was quite easy as well. So just moving ahead, going, 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 following the slipstreaming actually, the, 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 the car in the first place and then just when the lap was about to end. The race ended. Okay. Uh, after this, there was another uh, quick uh, pit stop exercise driving lesson, and then this is the last one. Okay. Uh, this is actually more of uh, controlling the fuel consumption. Controlling the fuel consumption. So it. So like this is the lesson that where you are in a race, you don't have the time to pit, you don't have the time to refuel, so you have to manage the fuel efficiency of the car. So for this. It was a bit difficult for me because I had to switch uh, to the multifunction display view where I cannot see the car, I can just see the dashboard, I can control many things from here. Uh, and from here as you can see that I am actually trying or I have actually uh, set the fuel economy towards more lean and less power because I don't have enough fuel to finish the race in the full power. Okay, so at this moment I have set it to 4. Uh, this will be for the most of the lap and then again uh, this is the new display for me so it was a it was a little hard for me in the beginning but then um, when I took a few passes I was I, I was I was getting more familiar with it so it got a little easier uh, at this moment since I cannot see the car it was a bit difficult for me okay and even in the break as you can see oh this was uh, the worst thing which happened to me in this particular uh, race because I, that was a very nasty crash. Um, but then again, after this pass, um, I got a little more familiarized with it and uh, I, I, I got in more control. So, um, using the fuel effectively, trying to be as economical as possible is the main uh, key element is the is, is the key element to take away from this particular driving lesson and that is what i did then again since this was a race this was a one lap race so i was able to do it in 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 the very first attempt um somehow it was a fluke that i got the right uh, fuel efficiency uh, meter down there 
okay so when approaching the finish line i maximize the fuel efficiency from four to five more towards lean and less towards power because now it's just a straight line and all i have to do is keep forward and then i got a warning still i got a warning that it's just point the fuel is there for just point one lap so um, I went for more lean uh, fuel efficacy and then you can see uh, in the side in the rear view mirror uh, the car behind me is right under my wing and I'm still going and at the end of the race I was left with no fuel at all all right so this was all from today's training lesson and probably the last one from the series I'll see you in the test race video for today until then thank you so much for watching goodbye have a good day